a new body draft feature has been added. Body draft allows you to apply draft to one or more entire parts by selecting just a pull direction and a parting location. Selecting the body draft feature will pick the whole part. We'll select the pull direction and the parting entity, in this case, just a parting plane that we created. The angle of draft is applied. We can choose to make the draft symmetric about the part, as well as use the options to match the faces exactly at the parting line. Completing the feature has applied draft of symmetric angles in two different directions about the parting line on the same part, all in one feature. Body draft is not limited to only using planar faces as the parting entity. In this example, we can use a non-planar surface to define our parting line and still achieve a valid drafted result. For more information on this powerful new feature, please refer to our help documentation. The boundary surface feature now supports curvature continuity. We created this patch using the boundary surface feature with two bridging curves. From the reflections of the lighting, we can see an edge where the blend starts. Enabling the curvature color map, we confirm an apparent change in curvature exists at the boundary edge. This would certainly be visible in the finished product. Editing the boundary surface feature, we can update the boundary condition to now match the curvature of the reference face. This will create a smoother transition between the existing surface and the patch, as shown in the curvature map. We can also confirm the model looks better as well in just a standard shaded view. You may now measure the area moment of inertia. From the Mass Properties dialog, select Face at the top and then select the face you wish to measure. The area moment of inertia is displayed. Enabling the Section View tool, we can even evaluate the area moment of inertia of the cut face of a sectioned model. Configured assemblies can sometimes cause confusion when working with in-context features. In this example, we are trying to edit the small configuration of the tub, but notice the context was created with the large configuration of the assembly. Now, you can change which configuration of the assembly a particular context is referencing. You no longer have to recreate a context just to change the configuration. Thanks for watching. Click the logo to subscribe or see some of our other videos linked here.